You know, it's been a long time since we did a padlock. We've been focused on uh, cylinder locks, Ural cylinders and such, and uh, just got this in a box. It came from a whole bunch of like locks that I got from off of eBay. And what makes this one stand out is we got NY and then CTA. So obviously, well, at least I think it's obvious, New York. And then maybe, and this is the part that's confusing to me, uh, maybe it's City Transportation Authority or County Tap Dancing Association, maybe Community T Auditorium. Anyway, it's a Yale. It's a five-pinner. Here's what the bidding looks like. And this actually looked like it has been uh, impressioned, kind of rounded off there. But it does work. The interesting thing about this lock, other than the kind of unique marking, is that it's secure in one way and one way only, and that's in the top here. Looks like you can shim it, and shims, in fact, do fit in there, but for some reason I can't overcome the locking paws on this thing, so it w it's highly resistant to shimming. But let's see if there aren't some other ways we can get into this lock, and believe me, they all surprised me. Let's do it the hard way first. Let's first try to just SPP it. So. We're going to try to put this in here and not bind up on the housing. All the way to the rear. A little bit of tension. And let's look for a binder. And they're pretty obvious. But I'm obviously not doing it in the correct sequence. But on some of these Yale locks, you just don't have to. You just keep moving from front to rear, and then sooner or later you're going to set them all, like, like happened there. Let's try something else. Let's try, well, you see the jiggler key. And I, I've numbered my jiggler keys, by the way. I put a little, just engraved on both sides, so I can keep track of which one I'm using. And this is what it looks like. I numbered this one number two, just so I can work them in sequential order. All right, so let's see if we can work it in there a little bit tight in this Y1 keyway. Eh, come on, baby. Get in there. Let me take my tension wrench out. Maybe it'll be a little easier to fit it in there. There we go. Now we just slide that tension wrench in. And you don't have to have the tension wrench with jigglers, but for me it helps. And there you go. That's how quick a jiggler can work. But let's look at some other ways with the pick. Let's go ahead and take a normal hook, and we're going to put it in there backwards. And we're going to rock this thing open. So slide it in backwards so you know I'm not using the pick little bit of tension and then just kind of rock this pins and hopefully you'll kind of work them in into place and if not you just release your tension and just try it again and there you go you're in okay how else can we get into this thing well let's try to let's try to zip it it's starting to sound like a Chinese lock but this is a Yale alright so take your normal pick Standard hook, slide it in there all the way to the back. A little bit of tension and zip it out, just like you're zipping up your jacket. And if your tension wrench will cooperate with you. And there you go. Easy enough. And last, and I think you know that this will work, if you have one of these, Bogota's, just take it, slide her in, and slide it out. So if you want to have T, at the community tea auditorium, you don't need a key. All you need is one of these, and you can be drinking tea anytime you want. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe, stay legal, and don't buy one of these. <laughs>